going today? Welcome to Life with Bilsop. <sighs> today on the Bilsop Show, we got to get this transmission separated from the engine. Because the weather ain't getting any better. So we got to get this shit done. Dude. So, I figured after work today, I'm going to get this son of a bit separated. So I figured to bring it along, because that's what I do. So let's just can't see how much things over today. Hopefully this won't take much longer than about half an hour. We'll have to see. Friggin' right we'll have to see. We gotta get her up high enough where I can get under the tranny here. We gotta undo the torque computer bolts and everything else right now. Uh, yeah. How you doing? Careful. Eh? Now actually if we can just get this tranny onto the mount like that. We should be good to go. Oh, that bolt looks mint. Check that out. Oh yeah, that looks safe. Friggin' right it does. The chain should have been on this side, maybe. Should I change that around? Nope. Okay, so we're gonna need some sockets and some of this and that and the other things. Hey, how's it going? Good. First thing you want to do when you're doing this is get the dust shield off, which should be easy, especially if I brought sockets with me. I'm loosening, I mean I'm tightening, I mean I'm cocking it over. Here we go. Let's try this. God, there's enough oil leakage in here. Should be well lubed. One, keep them aside because you're probably going to need them. Two, three, something's happening. Well, how did that even happen? There we go. The dust cover's off. So now we gotta take the bolts out for the flywheel. Cause we're gonna need the flywheel. So those are gonna be tight as fuck. Guarantee you that right now. And they're probably gonna be standard. Oh no, they're not. Oh, holy shit. Red Loctite, not so Loctitey. There we go, there's one. So now we gotta spin the engine. Somehow get the other ones out. Let's get the spark plugs out of the holes. So she'll spin over easy. Let's read. Read the spark plug in the old 305. We're here. Because I know that one bank was re running lean. But that one there is running nice. Let me take a look here. Oh yeah. These two are rich. Holy fuck, this thing's all over the place. So we had two rich cylinders and the rest look pretty good. So there you go. Turner, Jim. Get her cranking over here. Let me know when you see another bolt come up there. There it is. Oh, wrong size. That's an eye. Perfect. Next. Perfect. Only three? Oh, wow. This thing didn't make much power, Jim. All right, so now that's done, we can take the bolts out of the transmission, which is on this side. It should fall apart. Maybe. We're gonna have to see. Very good, yes. Yes. That's good. Great. Okay. There she go. That's a part. So after you do that, what you want to do is, I haven't got a clue, but I'm going to tell you, what you want to do is we're going to need all these bolts. So let's not lose them. Should put these in a little pot, actually. Let me go get something for that. <laughs> Never lose your bolts. Count them. All right. I think that's all of them. So now what I want to do is I want to set the engine back on the ground. Oh, we're going to use a cherry picker, the wedge. Just set it right... Oh, not on the friggin' lines for training. Come on. I need them. Frig. That was smart. Not at all. Get out of there. Try that again. Okay. So you don't want to leave a little bit of weight on the engine. Not much. Just a little. And then what we want to do... Bah. So you want to take all the four ohm strength you got and wiggle the shit out of it. And there you go. We did it, Jim. It's Catalina Wine Mixer. There we go. 400 transmission separated. So now what we need to do is jack this back up and get the flywheel off. Because I need that. 
piece of equipment. And then we can just see how badly block is leaking. I'm gonna say lots. Same size? Oh yeah. Oh, she turns over easy, Jim. Oh, fuck. How oh, you do? Might need to bring in rattle box. Rattatat tatty. Of course, it's the wrong one. There you go. It is a 916th, boys. Real people. Now that I got the taker off 25,000 here, they should come off easy. <coughs> yeah, look at that. Nothing to her, Captain. <coughs> Amazing what that does, eh? <coughs> Makes your job so much easier. <coughs> Perfect. There we go. Flywheel off. Look at that rear main. Look at the leakage on that son of a bitch. Holy. So that's the part I need off the engine. I need little this and that's and the other things, but we can get that off from back there. I'm gonna put this on the trailer and get this stuff out of my driveway. Take this tranny, get her in the backyard, take the parts off it, and Bob's your uncle. So let's go get the trailer. All right, so now that I have the trailer up here, we're gonna pick this engine up. We're gonna center that fucking trailer right there. Cause that's what we do. Oh yeah, we're gonna lose some more water. Oh, dick. What happened? Don't worry, it's just water, Jim. We're gonna try to get this engine right over top of that angle the dangle here. Look at it, just fucking pissing out. Why wouldn't you? I might have to move my truck. Probably freaking not, because I'm not. We're gonna need a little bit of 4x4 here. Put a 4x4 in here, like so. And we'll let her down, Jim. Oh, wait a minute, I don't want to put on that because I need that balancer. Oh, stay careful, easy, gentle. There we go. Ready? Perfect. There it is. Now we can undo our bolts, because that is loaded. Right on. See, we're getting somewhere. We actually accomplished something right now. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the transmission. Get it off the driveway, take it in the backyard, and just let the tranny fluid puke everywhere. Why wouldn't we? Did I say that out loud? Probably not. Why would I do that? But we do got to get the tranny up so we can drain her somehow. I really bent the fuck out of that. Let me tell you what. How you doing, Mr. Cock right over? Mr. Cock right over. All right, so now we got to go back to the train and do the same thing. But now we got to turn the trailer around because the lines are going to be on that side. Free. So actually, I can set it in either way, but let's move these things onto the other side. Perfect. We'll put it right in this hole right here. Back in my younger days, we just picked this thing up, two hands, slobber in the trailer. But now, not gonna happen. Let me tell you what. Ooh, excuse yourself. So we'll line her up to the middle somewhat, like so. We'll take the chain. This is really easy to do, actually. You take the chain like this. You hook it around the yoke, like so. Then you hook it around the chain, like so. Way too fucking far ahead here. 
put it through here so, and you kind of go this way like so and then back over here like so. take your other bolt and you put it through here and you put the nut on and now that should come straight up in the air watch this are you watching i'm not where's my doodad gone anybody see my bar i lost it where's my jack off How did I lose that that fast? What's going on here? Who took it? Oh, there it is. Whew. Thought you guys took it for me. Look at that. Are you looking at it? Holy, how are you doing? Anyone's looking for a 400 transmission? I got one. Leave a comment down below. Why wouldn't you? Hopefully it fits in there. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. Easy. Oh, gentle. I'm thinking right about there, Jim. You watching over there? Hopefully. Here we go. Oh, dick. Did you see that? What friggin' placement. There we go. We got her in there. Nothing's hitting it. And Bob's your uncle. So there you go. Thank you for sticking around. I'm glad you watched the splitting the transmission from the old engine, lowering her to the trailer and getting her out of the driveway. So you don't look like Jimmy Green salads. If you haven't heard of him, I don't blame him because I haven't either. But it's not in the driveway anymore, is what I'm saying. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Can't wait for the next one. Did do a lot of painting. Look at that. If you can even see it. Got to put some more in the firewall, but we're getting there. Got the old engine, like I said, over there. So it's coming. We're almost there. Stick around. Why wouldn't you?